What about um? Y'all heard about Bad Bunny selling his tickets and they sold out? I, 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 it, I didn't hear about that. Like I heard about it on on Instagram because I I saw all the funny uh, reels. Memes? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah. I didn't even know he was like having a concert or doing a tour or whatever. I just seen the funny memes like you know people like I'm not paying for you know that eight that eight hundred dollars two thousand dollars for some tickets like it's online. You, you gotta go. You see him somewhere or something. No, this is gonna be live. Yeah, this, this is, is gonna be in person. Though. Yeah, but this yeah. is like in like next year at the beginning of next and it, year. Or something. And then some tickets was like twenty five hundred. I heard. Yeah, that's something. what I heard too. Well, they had memes like that that was that were that were explaining like, oh, when you when you sell your PlayStation to go see a Bad Bunny concert or something like that. Like there was a yo, but it, he, I mean, I get it. He's he's like the most streamed artist, isn't he? Like not even like Latino artists, just artists. Period. Well, keep streaming. I, I saw. I read. Oh, I read some. That. I read something that he he outstreamed Drake. What? Wow. That's cool. Yeah, I think that was 20, 2019, 2018, if I'm not mistaken. So the dude's like one of the biggest artists, you know, in the world. So I'm not surprised, you know, supply and demand. But nah. you ain't gonna catch me paying no two thousand dollars, bro. What? Not not for no bad bunny. Nah, dog. I, 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 I could buy some more Tesla stock or some Bitcoin with that, dog. Forget that. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. So how, how many tickets did you get, Switch? <laughs> I didn't get any tickets, man. <laughs> I do know somebody that told that that they just told me, yeah, they got the tickets. I'm like, oh, nah, where? how much they pay? How much they pay? I don't know. You? Someone just told me, like, yo, uh, you know, a family of a family just bought the tickets, three tickets for next year. Really? Yo, son, can yeah. you imagine the resale value on them joints though? <sighs> I think that's where the where the price hike is at. Cause I know up front it ain't really you don't think it's two thousand up front? You you think that's the resale Maybe value? Maybe you getting like some VIP and Nah, you gotta sit with him, yo. Yeah, <laughs> you got you gotta be my business consultant yo, for a day for two thousand dollars. Twenty five hundred. I'm on stage with him. I'm his. Yo, that, that, yo, that's gotta be the fe- feature price, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm out there with him. I'm Bob Bunny Burberg for twenty five hundred. <laughs> like this? Yeah, you get a choreographed dance with it. Like. <laughs> right, right, everything. I'm on the stage with Bad Bunny. Yo. Right. For like, let me get your autograph. On my on my arm, nah, <laughs> let me actually that. get your autograph. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm performing, yo. Hey, it is what it is, though. That's I wild, did. man. So, it, what was interesting to me is like the, I mean, well, these artists they kind of sell out quick, right? Like Drake and all of them. But just, I guess everybody's expecting to go back to normal, and this is well, like, <clears throat> yeah. Did didn't the weekend sell sell sell, sell out his concert too? After the Super Bowl, right? Yeah. Did he? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I think he made like 60 million or something like that. I don't know what the prices were. But yeah. But oh, that's right. I know right. But he, he, and it's for next year too. Because yeah. he did the free concert in the Super Bowl. Well, he spent as, his as own a, money as a promotion yeah. in, in hopes to sell tickets yeah. for, for. Yeah. Well, that worked. Yeah. Wow. And that show, that show wasn't good enough for me to be going to spend $1,000. Right. Yeah, I seen uh, oh, yeah. Mar- Mark Anthony had a virtual concert. Um, they were like twenty five dollars each. I think he sold a hundred thousand tickets what? or something like that. That's not a bad payday, man, for a virtual event. But wow. but the event had technical difficulties, so he had right. to come back the next day do it for and free, do the right? concert for. free. Well, I think he recorded it, like he pre-recorded it, and then released it the next day on YouTube for free. Wow. And they refunded the individuals because he made like two point five okay. million, I think. Something. So that's like. he, had that's to, a, he had to refund the two mil. That's what I read. I I don't know how factual that is, but that's uh, what I read. It said that he was he, was he offered refunding. a refund. Yeah, he offered that's the refund. Doing, yeah. um, that's tough. And made it free for everybody else on that's, YouTube. Hey, that's It'll a tax tight. write-off, man. That's cool. Yeah, that's a tax write-off. He got enough bread. He'll be all right. Nah, he definitely got enough money. He'd be tight though. He sold a hundred thousand, but then he gonna get a million views on YouTube for free. <laughs> he know, get a that's 3, only four thousand. Three thousand dollar check from YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! For real, man. <laughs> but yeah, that's wild, man. Yo, um, you didn't you? We, it wasn't on the topics, man. But we um. 
we didn't uh we didn't mention black rob passed away man yeah oh yeah condolences to the family man that's 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 uh crazy that's, like that's i see woke. i see he had he had cancer right uh I, well i don't know because i heard it was kidney failure so oh okay know. okay my bad i yeah i have no idea i just that's I heard he, he, looked, he, looked, he looked he looked he looked he looked pretty bad when he was giving dmx that shout out you know like he was yeah. in the hospital, right? He was like, he yeah, was he was in the hospital, Ben. He was in he was pain, in... like when he was talking. He was like, yeah, he was struggling, bro. Oh, someone <clears throat> said stroke. Stroke. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're saying that he died from a stroke. Yeah, he just oh, okay. yeah. Um, we talking about uh, uh really, Jay? Um, Black Rob. Yeah, bumps. We talking about Black Rob, and he recently passed, fifty-one years old. That's mad, yo. As as closer I get to those ages, I'd be like, yo, You're that's silly, young, right? <laughs> yo, that's young. So, yo, that it dude is, uh, from from Shadow Group, he was forty six. Mm, and that dude, the... that dude, yo, son, bro, I'm about to, I'm, going I'm about vegan, to go yo. full vegan. I'm a juice. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do yoga and all that stuff, dog. Like, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm be, I'm be eating raw broccoli. Yo, <laughs> yo, I didn't even. Yo, you know what's funny is I is like the Monday before he just because he passed a few days ago, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I don't, I don't. Uh, whoa. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> well, we'll get back to it. He'll yeah. come back. Yo, this dude bumps, yo. Yo, <laughs> this dude drop his phone, everything. Right, right, right. So yeah, what's, man, what's going on? Sad, in the... man. There he is. Yeah, what's going on in the comments? There we go. Let's see. There he is. Um, Hedge Hedge Knight says, "Life is <clears throat> every day is such a blessing." That's for that's sure. That's facts, though. That's yeah. facts. Yeah. What happened, bumps? Would you you drop the phone? Yo, no, yo, I did. But you know what? What I keep getting booted out on? <laughs> I keep getting phone calls, and I'm joining. Oh, you got hit. Did not disturb. I, I no, I did oh, that. Oh, that happens too. Oh, you know like, why? It's probably because these people are are in your favorites. When you hit I, when you hit D and D, everyone before the interview. Oh, oh okay. Because I, I know for me, like if it, when I hit D and D, anybody who's in my favorites, they can they can get through to me. Yeah, I got that's, you that's know, the only yeah, thing I, I can think of. I got Bum, yeah, dropped his phone guys. talking. To, yeah, <laughs> you, you, you gonna talk about some whoa? When hey, we talk about Black Rob. <laughs> That was God. And then he dropped his phone like, story. whoa. Yeah, he told me. No, no, no. no. Me and, you had a story, though. Yeah. Yo, so, all right. So, me and, it was just, me and Fern was chopping, and uh, he, he just I randomly brought him up. He's like, yo, he was like, and Cass, he's like, Cass, he, he's, I guess he just seen him not too long ago. And he said something like, yo, he's like, I seen Black Rob. He looked like a chameleon. And I'm like, what does that even mean, bro? <laughs> I was laughing, but I, but he, I think his point was like, yo, nobody knew he was even sick. And then I swore mm, on yeah. everything. It was like four days later, dude died. I'm like, yo, that's crazy. Mm, yeah, man. I didn't know he but, was uh, sick. Yeah, man. It's just we were talking about some some other stuff too, man. Especially like you know, cats. The game just chews them up, man. It spits them out. It, we, we don't need, we can't even talk about CHH. It's like nothing for us. There's no four CHH 401k out here in these streets. You know, like <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. You'd be lucky if you get a. Uh, Rapzilla interview after you retire or something. We, like, <laughs> get a, get me, a shout like, out on your birthday. We, right. You get what a Wado have, special. You know, like, <laughs> Wado exclusive. <laughs> man, yo, but it's it's just funny because like, it wasn't funny, but he just, uh, the dude just looked, you know, he said he when he seen him, he looked unrecognizable and I didn't even know, like, bro, I didn't even know he was sick. Yeah, It's yeah, crazy. Yeah. And it is you know, young, yeah. man. It is young. Y'all know people mm-hmm. were judging, um, Diddy, because Diddy had made a statement not too long ago about how these companies or these labels need to, you know, pay these artists their right due. Right. And yeah. everybody was like, You talking? Right. <laughs> right. Diddy <laughs> out of all people. <laughs> right. They were going yeah. in on him. They went in. They're still deep. going in. They're still going in. I I saw a meme today, like people, like a list of it had the it had the locks. It had it had mace, it had everybody, and like, yo, did he need to take care of these people? And my first reaction was kind of like, did he don't gotta take care of nobody but himself? You know what I'm saying? But because I don't know what the contracts look like, you know what I mean? But but I just what's your, I'm, what, what's your thought now? 
I'm just that cautious. Was your first reaction. It's still my reaction because because you know people just default to like oh this person should take care of that person like no nah, take care of yourself handle your business you know what I'm saying like at the end of the day like you're responsible for you yeah. so if you sign a contract without a lawyer you know what I mean like you allow that to happen to yourself you know what I mean I mean that's that's just that's just how I see it bro like he he has no response and then I just read that he's he's paying for his funeral services too now who knows if that came from his heart. Or it's, it's from the pressure from social media, you know what I'm saying? But I feel PR. like, man, you, yeah, you can't, you can't expect nobody to do nothing for you. You know what I mean? Like, nah, yeah. you can't. Yo, that's you the can't, that's for sure. Mindset, bro. Yeah. Well, safest rather. Yeah. yeah. Yo, but Look like culturally, that. like we, it's almost like we're like inclined to, I don't know, like we 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 think bailouts are coming. What you said, like nobody's nobody's coming at the end of the day. It's just yeah. you. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like yeah. it's scary. And that's a real tricky situation, too, because it's like there's a part of me that's like, yo, you have these like massively talented kids who come from these like, you know, inner cities and got nothing, no money. Right. So it's like they're easily manipulated. So I can understand that true. that part Very true. Too, where it's like, yeah. yo, here's a bag, fifty thousand dollars. Like you've you've never had a check worth more than five hundred dollars prior to that. Right, like, right, right. Take right. this advance, which, you know, you're they don't. Well, they don't know that. But it's, just, it's, it's the same thing. Like, remember the. The joint that we used to get hustled with like 20 years ago, we probably all still owe the money for getting like a Lion King DVD and a like yeah, Ace yeah, of Base yeah. CD or something like, you know, like you get it for a penny. Columbia House. Like eight years. Yeah. Columbia House. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. But it's like, and just even with credit cards and stuff, like I didn't have no dad. My mom wasn't around. So it's like, you don't, nobody is there to like teach you. And I'm not, I do agree with what Jimmy says. Cause like ultimately as I get no, older. No, I feel like, you. I feel you. I am I am mm-hmm. solely for one thousand percent of self accountability. Like I feel like I've thought about all the ways to fix the world's problems, and like that's the only thing I could really think of that would work. You know what I'm saying? Like if we all yeah. could just own our crap, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah, I do get that. Like young young artists get signed; they're easy to get. The, the, somebody with like this business savvy, like Diddy, just it's like you know what I mean? Like easily take yeah. advantage of these dudes. Yeah. We so, know yeah, we absolutely. know Diddy been jerking people. Oh, yeah, wait. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, and right. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't doubt that either. You know, um, I think, and I'm, I'm, my thing. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Nah, go ahead. You finish your. your now nah, I was just gonna say, like, 20, 20 years ago or twenty five years ago, when these dudes got signed, I, I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? But like, if you want to rap, <clears throat> then you, you, you should probably like look up people because I, I, I have books. And I, you know, what I'm saying, like back in the in the '90s, in the late '90s, of, you know, how to run a record, uh, you know, how to run a a, a record label, you know, what I mean, things to look out for, you know, and so like you just gotta do the knowledge, you know, what I'm saying, you, and now it's even easier. Like, it can't nobody say they got into a bad deal, like now in this day when you could just Google it, you know. Mm-hmm. Yo, um, but I get it, I get it, yeah. Just sheer devil's advocate here. Yeah. Um, let's say you know. Um, early '90s, late '90s. Yeah. So you know, it's not like it is today, right? Sure. Um. So he puts the deal on the table, and mm-hmm. you you're aware of you, you, the the you know the legal side of things, and you're like, you push back, and he's like, "Yo, it's cool. We we'll just go with somebody else." Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. what do you right. at, at the time where it's like it's it's a matter of like, yo, is he? I'm in the source next week, or right, right. I'm mm-hmm. back at you know what I'm saying like yeah, what, what yeah, would you yeah. do you know what I'm saying yeah, like, even yeah, if you right. knew all the all that or you had the knowledge it'd be a tough decision but, you know what I'm saying sure sure but what did Master P do he's like nah well, yeah. I'm not gonna take your I'm not gonna take your million dollars I'm gonna bet on myself yeah yeah that was a yeah. risk. that was a risk he, he I mean and, and absolutely and life is a risk right and he believed it he yeah. said hey if they willing to offer me a right. mill right. I know I'm, I'm worth more I'm worth right. more That's than what I'm that. That's what I'm yeah. saying, you know. Um, and oh. you know, you could you could try to finesse it like Frank Ocean or something like that. You know what I mean? And you talking oh, to somebody course, trying bro. to give you a bag and <laughs> right. Oh, Frank you know, Ocean Frank Oce- finesse the uh, game, right? Whoa, 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 yeah. Man. Yeah. Anything with finesse and Frank Ocean, pause, bro. <laughs> oh god, Meet this man's mic. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, play, you know, I, I didn't know. I didn't know Frank Ocean triggered you like that. You want to talk about that? I ain't triggered. I'm just saying. Don't you want to finesse and Frank Ocean? I'm just. I'm just letting you know. Pause that. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, 
Yeah, might but we, we also got to be honest too. Like yeah. a lot of these artists, they not you know they look because we see them on TV, but they don't yeah. really get a bag like that. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. They oh, get you a mean, regular... yo, yeah. Huh? Oh, what? What? Look, what? Look at Usher. You know, yo, you think, that's... You, think, you think he got money? You know what I'm saying? And your man out here printing out his own dollars. TNT oh, they dollars said that was promo, out. right? They said that was promo for his um his thing though. For his um, residency, it was? it was promo for his residency. Uh, yeah. I was but, um, actually, I was about to print some dollars for. TNC, but you know, man. you you see these artists and they and they look like they, or maybe they do got a bag and they squander it. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. You got a bag, you had your opportunity, and you squandered our opportunity. You wasted all your money. Right. Look at Young Buck. Look at Young Buck and Fifty. That's been an ongoing thing, and they like right. But he he's like, yeah, Fifty used to give us bread and da 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 and. So where's your bread at? Like, did you invest it? Did you, you know what right. I mean? Right. Yeah. Well, some I, of these I, dudes I, is, I, is 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 not just from the ripping off side because I do believe that's true, especially back back in the days. Like mm-hmm. that was just like, oh, you young, like like Bump said, you young, you naive. Yeah. yeah. I can get you. I can Most make a lot money of money you've ever you. seen you know, in your life. Right. Wasn't that the whole issue? But yo, like, the locks. Yeah. Was it? What do you mean the whole issue? Like they, I guess they. Got, but what you was about to say, bumps? No, I was just gonna like I'm, not, and I'm not even trying to discredit. Like what Jimmy said is still a hundred percent like right, bro. Because it's like, as a businessman, like you lay the contract out, and you're like, here's the terms. You could accept it or not accept oh, yeah, it. So yeah. I could see the right. flip side is like, yo, it's not fair for you to renege on a deal either. Like it's like that's not fair to the dude. Like that's he's. You get what I'm saying? Like it's. Yeah. I can see how it's like. A crappy situation for both parties, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, but I can yeah. sit there. And no, I agree. I agree. It is. Pockets. But I'm agreeing with you though. Like, right. I, I, I yeah. totally and, get what you're saying. And and back in them days, man, it wasn't like like now. Everybody's a studio engineer. Everybody makes yeah. beats. You have the internet. Like back then, going to the studio was like the hardest thing ever. Like it was like, oh, you got to pay a lot. It's the of money. most expensive thing, mm-hmm. yeah. And you or to get a videographer, and then you had to have the connect too. It wasn't like how it is where everything is posted. Not, you go online yo, and just look up videographer, and you find a yo, bunch of son. Dudes. You could do everything on your iPhone. Oh, yeah, like, iPhone literally, right? literally, yeah. you could do yep. everything on your iPhone right now. You could drop a EP right now. What a time on to your be iPhone. Alive. Bro. Shoot, shoot the video and everything. Create your merch. On my iPhone. See? <laughs> See? Yo, yeah. so I think I, I mean, got a delay, so I apologize if I cut you guys off. No, no. Are you good? I mean, for for the whole thing with Black Rock, I get it. I get both sides. Like, you know, he probably lost all his money and whatever it is that he did. You know, I mean, it would have been cool to see. Did he help him out? He didn't have to, obviously. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like the Mark Cuban and Delonte West situation. Mark mm. Cuban didn't have to do anything right. for Delonte right. West, but, he, but did. he did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that means a lot. That means a lot because he did it on his own merit, not because people were like, "Oh, you should do this." You know what I mean? Because I right. definitely believe, like, yeah, secure the bag, but also feed mm-hmm. the poor. You know what I'm saying? Right. Do something you know, exactly. You know what I mean? Like give back, give back. I totally believe that, but I'm not gonna pressure anybody to do that. That's my standard. Nah. You know what I mean? Because I'm basing it on on scripture. You know. Yeah. But that don't mean I'm going to force everybody or anybody to, you know, to do that. Like, that's just not my place. And I feel like I just feel like we're in we're in that spot right now, culturally, where everybody wants to force everybody else to do something, but they don't do anything themselves. You know what I mean? Like, I, just think, about, people, hmm. I think people <laughs> got on Diddy because it because he had the nerve to talk about, yo, let's band together against these corporations and all of that. Sure. Sure. And then now you like really do, bro. You sure. are the corporation. But he's, yeah, yeah, he is the corporation. <laughs> right. hey, hey, bumps. What do you feel about like in Chh? Like, I'm I'm probably sure it's you terrible. probably heard heard about some deals going on or whatever, and just like, yikes, <laughs> that's that Diddy percent. <laughs> Dude, like, how yo. do you feel about like that? Like, if you ever heard any stories like that, I gotta I gotta be completely honest. I don't know. First of all, I don't really be in cast pockets like that, but I've never right. really, yeah, I, I've been privy to a lot of crazy stuff behind the scenes, like even cast mm-hmm. like behavioral stuff, like you know what I mean, like. Right. But I never, I, 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 I can't recall. Yeah, I mean, we probably all have right with that yeah. with that aspect. Um, but I don't, I don't, I don't recall ever like 
seeing something like you know what i'm saying regarding like a a bad deal or whatever yeah. um and be like yo that's that's he's getting jerked or whatever mainly because i'm probably a moron on the business side of things but you know and where, where i wouldn't be able to identify a bad deal anyway but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like oh i get 10% all right right that's what the bible says <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i'm doing pretty well out here <laughs> <laughs> he said 10% right, right, right. all right oh, this the bible is a says tie. I'm worthy of my wages Sounds good. <laughs> <It is. laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and maybe maybe hey, that's because but, but it happens. I I can, I, I bet my life yeah. on it. It happens. Yeah. You know what happens, but sure, like that's that's sure. a, yeah. it's a shady part of this. Even like rule number four thousand and eighty. <laughs> yo, there's your, you guys all know. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> I said rule number four thousand and eighty. Rule number four. Industry people uh, are shady. shady. That's not <laughs> quest. Yeah. Oh. I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> you spend bars. This dude come out with the yeah, with the oldest up. bars. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Tribe Cold Quest. I'm like, what song? Oh, Track Number 15. You're like, <laughs> what time? Like, I wasn't born then. <laughs> I'm like, who's that? The, the, who's yeah, that? Yeah, the yeah. baby? I'm like, who's that? The baby? <laughs> the baby. Yeah, I didn't mean to interrupt you, Bubs. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. <laughs> nah, nah. That was that was pretty much the gist of it. Like, really, just yeah, just, yeah. just uh. I mean, and it's the same thing for like not only the music industry. Pardon me, man. I'm trying to get this phone so it stop uh, falling. But the mu- the music side of things, and even you know the institutional church, really like it's a business, bro. Like there's no other way around yeah. it. It's, it's no, it is what it is. True. Like it, I, I've had you know theological conversations for hours and hours on end and study myself. But like, bro, like mm-hmm. you know, it's just like uh, you know the conclusion I came to that helped me the most with even churches. Like church is what you make of it, and it's really like the same thing for CHH. It's kind of like mm. it's all your perspective, really, man. Because it's you gonna if you run into it like with these crazy high expectations about it being like I can understand you going into it thinking it's gonna be different than the you know what i'm saying but it's you're gonna yeah. be hell let down for real for real no nah, that's true you know? that's true I, th- I think that i think it <clears throat> it's it's the expectations that people have right and and i think some of those expectations are might be out of ignorance you know just people don't know business you know and, and especially the record business you know because yeah, sure. a lot of people you know like going back to the diddy thing like Dude invested millions into promoting artists. Like each individual artist invested millions, right? He invested hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions in in recording each and every album. Because we're talking about a different time in the late '90s, where dudes were spending a million dollars just on a music video. You know, <clears throat> absolutely. Uh, you know, so studio sessions could run, you know, into the millions. Production could run into the millions. You know what I mean? Like I hear Nori talking about he was paying mad money on car services. You know. Like car services, mm. bro. Like that's not even like recording, but you wow. know, he charged it to the label, you know. Mm. Um, so I I think people just don't understand like how much goes into recording a project and promoting a successful project, you know, because yeah, you have absolutely. some artists who just who just record an mm-hmm. album, throw it, throw it, you know, throw it on uh 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 what's what's the SoundCloud distributor, no, nah, not SoundCloud. I was thinking of, of um, Distro Kid, a, a Distro Kid, See, right? They think they just, oh, yeah. yeah, they just throw it on Distro Kid, and then you know, and then that's it, and you're a success. But that ain't really how it works, you know. Right. Like, right you got to right. put money behind it. You gotta, you gotta do stuff like this, like a podcast. You got to do a music video. You know what I mean? You got to do interviews. You know all that stuff. You know, and that costs money. Yeah. You know, and I think people forget that they just think like, oh, you got a music video. You, you, you know, you. Well, back then it was like you on MTV and mm-hmm. you know all that. You know. Even World Star, mm-hmm. you got to pay for World Star if you want to be yeah. on the page, you know. Yeah. Oh, my well, I think just, back, just more. I just to think it. back then was more like the visibility was was a little more difficult because it was like oh, for sure, well, only for sure. the labels, the gatekeepers yeah. had that those mm-hmm. connections. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. it wasn't like like you had to hand your demo back then. You know what I'm saying to get yeah. all like yeah, and hope someone could hear it and, and right and, and accept your talent. Now you could go on IG, upload something put a couple hashtags sure. and you might go viral who knows yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. and i'm sure there's like you said there is a marketing strategy like let's not be blinded yes. by that like it's not always like oh I'm, I'm this best i'm the best rapper in the world and i'm just gonna blow up nah yeah like yeah. it takes a marketing you know what i mean some people put money towards it 
Yeah, but, well, that, like, that's what I'm saying is is the fact that they they did they did like the record labels did a lot to make these these records and these artists successful. You know what I'm saying? Like they invested a lot of money. So, and whenever I invest money, I expect a return. Yeah, you know that's you know that's just how I do business. <laughs> you know, yeah. <laughs> Other people might do business differently, but for me, like if I put money in, I expect a return. Now, what that return is, you know, that's between whatever party I'm doing business with, right? Yeah. Um, and I just think that a lot of people just don't see that and don't understand that. So going back to like Diddy, like dude invested millions and millions of dollars in promoting the locks and everybody else who was on his roster, you know, take that, man. Um, take that. So I, I'm not mad at him for expecting a cut. Like dude made you a household name, you know, yeah. like you could really go anywhere and do a show and you straight, you know, yeah. that's just, that's just my, you know, my, my, my thing, but. Was he shady? Sure, possibly. You know, no, I feel humans that, are humans are shady. You know, like that's sin. Like you're not gonna expect that from yeah. sinners. You know. Yeah. But anyway, <clears throat> with all that being said, TNC record labels coming out seventy thirty splits <laughs> for the nine nine two thousand seventy thirty. It's too much. No, I said oh, we said eighty twenty. 90 10 man let's go <laughs> true capital we're trained capitalists that's what we are <laughs> yo and, 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 and the first single's coming the first single coming out is gonna be from switch <laughs> he, oh, he wow. get 